Hey guys, it's Tim time with Tim Banks. It's the first video edition. It's the first video edition and I have a special guest here. She's uh, going to be a vital part of our team, I think, for for times to come. Okay. Um, here, Tim, I got this. I thought of you. What you is this? It will help you relax. I don't drink wine. Just drink it. You it's sure? It's white wine. Wow, feels like we're on a date. I'll cheers to that. It's pretty good. Drink it up. All of it. Really? All of it. I don't know what to... I think that's enough for now. Maybe you can join me in a toast later. Maybe. Maybe. So, this is my first guest on Tim Time. This is lovely, su su uh, supple Bridget Furrows. Hi, guys. I'm so excited to be here. I just want you to all know that I did a little research, so we have lots to talk about. Um, awesome. Can I start with my first story? Bridget, you go right ahead. Okay. So I was browsing on E! News earlier today, and breaking news. In 1980-something, about 10 years ago, so 1990-something, anyways, Nicolas Cage had this million dollar comic book that was stolen from him. I mean, who steals from Nick Cage? Guys, he did National Treasure. He can hunt you down. He's the and, ghost writer. And he's the ghost writer. He's the ghost writer. So this guy in the San Fernando Valley finds this comic book that's been missing for 10 years worth a million dollars. Just hanging out. Action Comics number one. Now there's this whole ordeal because Nicolas Cage got his like insurance million dollars. And so who gets this comic book? He's already been paid for his loss. Now he has a found. Who gets to keep it? Dun dun dun. Yeah. Whoa. Do you have, do you have sound effects? Uh, yeah. Sound no, I can. Here? I can just throw them in. Take your medicine. Okay. Well, being is that you are my first guest, and also a wonderful girl. I feel like the audience would love to get to know you a little bit better. So I prepared a few questions for you. Question one. Okay. You're traveling through the universe with Betty Ray Bill and the Star Jammers. You happen upon, through a temporal anomaly, one of Darkseid's Starcraft. You have three choices of weaponry to face Darkseid and his forces. The ultimate nullifier, the cosmic cube, or a lightsaber. Which do you choose and why? Pass. Who is your favorite comic book female? Whew. I'm so glad you asked, actually. Um, I am really a, ri a big fan of uh, Wonder Woman. Oh, awesome. Totally awesome. I really like her outfit. I think that she rocks the little booty short thing. Um, her legs are incredible. I'm really curious as to how she gets them so toned without being like muscular. And her cape really does a lot to uh, give shape and flowiness to her. Her cape? Her... Bridget, mm -hmm. what is your favorite word? <sighs> Passion. Tell me about passion. Can I take it back? My favorite word uh, has to be boobs. Boo, boo, booty. Booty. Pirate treasure. Pirate treasure. Um, well, let's move on. Question four. Okay. I am drawing an action sequence. Okay? I am drawing an action sequence, and I have somebody barreling through a brick wall. Right? Like a super punch. Boom. Right through a brick wall. Is this hypothetical? Yes. Okay. 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 So, I'm drawing it and I hit them through a brick wall. Okay. I need a sound effect. You're the letter. 
What sound effect do I use and how do you spell it? Duh. That's amazing. You think pow or boom or whack. Duh. 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 So, Bridget, how did you and Haley meet? We both went to Catholic school and we had gym class together. And Haley is a little clumsy. Oh. So she fell when we were doing the hurdles and me and a couple other girls stood around and we were really laughing really hard because it was really funny the way she fell. She was like... <laughs> Your legs all spread out? And her skirt. <laughs> she... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she always wore these little knee pads because she fell a lot. Right. Um, but then the other girls went and they continued to run over the hurdles and I stayed around and and I was laughing and then she started laughing and then we started laughing together. Oh my and gosh. we've been friends ever since. Yeah. That's great. So this is word association. Oh. I'm going to say some words and you say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Children. Ugh. Snacks. Mmm. Friendship. Aww. Uh, remember, it's word association. Uh huh. So you can just associate a word with another word. Right. Uh, Krypton. Mmm. Bally's Total Fitness. Ooh. Milkshake. Uh huh. In laws. Ooh. Presbyterian Church. <laughs> Bathroom. I don't want to go there. No, okay, because the next one was, was shower. I like it. I like it too. I don't like it. Don't I don't like it anymore. No. 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 Okay. no, I agree. Don't like shower. No shower. No shower. Tim, stop. Okay. Rob Liefeld once said, I don't draw my feet too small. How small are your feet? Funny you should ask, Tim. Mm -hmm. um, they're shrinking. So they used to be like an eight and a half pretty consistently. At one point I was a nine, but I think that was weird shoes. I'm now a seven. What is the one thing that we don't know about Bridget Furrows? Okay. Oh, I feel so vulnerable. I won't look at you. I like collages. Collages? Collages. I love them. I rip pages right out of the magazines. I like scrapbooking. <sighs> Today, oh my God. <sighs> Just kidding. When my grandmother and I started, we started with like a lot of the My Little Pony articles that I was reading and we started um, with like her knitting catalogs and things like that and we made theme collages. Today, I found the most amazing series of pictures of toasters. I made this 20 by 20 page of red toasters and silver toasters and I made this beautiful collage out of toasters of a toaster. I really like to incorporate text into my collages. Um, as you know, text is a big part of my life and I'm actually not really sure why I like text so much. Did you know that there was um, a documentary made on the Helvetica? Font the entire documentary. Oh, right? hell yeah! Tim. Sorry. You're right, I should get a tissue. No, you made me lose my train of thought. Oh, Helvetica. Okay, so there's this entire documentary <laughs> just based on the creation of the Helvetica font. So, what I really like to do is pay tribute to those text makers and incorporate their beautiful artwork into my. Beautiful artwork. I like wingdings. Because you never know what you're going to get. 
I think that says a lot about you, Tim, actually. I think that that says a lot about your cryptic nature and people's inability to understand what you're saying. Mm. Bridget, this has been a really wonderful time just getting to know you and getting to know what you do. Thank you. But I have a bonus I have a bonus question for oh. you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Bonus round for Bridget Furrows. Okay. Who is Bridget? Um Guys, I think that's been all the time that we have for our special guest, Bridget Furrows, who is going to be our letterer, who is our letterer, future, past, present, whatever multiple earth we live on. Am I right? Uh-huh. Awesome. Uh-huh. This has been uh, Tim Time's special edition with Bridget Furrows. Bye, guys. Bye. so much fun. Have okay. me back again. Awesome. And I'll just uh, stand up here now that we're all completed. Just stand right up here. Just, um, sorry. I'll just stand up right here. Tim, why is your butt always in my face? Sorry. 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 <laughs>